Hey guys, it's Samantha Studebaker Carl here coming at you from beautiful southwest Georgia. And in this video, I'm going to show you a really quick way for growing your circles and getting more followers um, pretty quickly. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be looking for what's called shared circles. And what a shared circle is, is it's actually a circle of people that um, somebody else has created. And, uh, you know, lots of different people will create circles just like you or just like me. We might create a circle full of, you know, a certain... Um, category of people or people with certain interests or something along that lines and then you can share your circles publicly if you want to you don't have to but you can and so one of the things that I've noticed is that with some of the the leaders in uh, in the Google Plus communities who have a lot of followers they tend to keep track of who the people are that are engaging with them, who are commenting on their posts, plussing, liking, sharing, and all of that kind of thing. And they will put all of those engagers in a circle and then they'll share that circle and say, hey, these people are engagers. They're people that you want to add to your circles. And um, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to search for some circles that we might want to add uh, to our own group of people that we're following. Um, and then what will happen is that when you add these circles of people to your following, um, or when you add them to your list of people that you follow, you'll get a lot of people that will automatically follow you back pretty quickly. Um, now, just a couple of cautions to think about. Um, as I have been on Google Plus more and more, I have seen and learned about some kind of different tactics that are not the most effective and can actually hurt you on Google Plus versus help you. So let me just kind of narrow down some of those. Uh, one of the things that they've been talking about here and there, I've read different articles about them, is how people will create a circle of people and, um, and they'll say, look, join, you know, share this circle and I'll add you to the circle and we'll make a chain and, you know, it'll just be like you add somebody who adds somebody who adds somebody who adds somebody. But it's not really people that are actually engaging on Google Plus. It's just kind of like a chain, uh, kind of like a chain letter, if you will. Well, nobody's really doing anything. They're just continually adding people to these circles and then sharing them and then adding more people. Well, if your people are not engaging with you and you're not engaging with your people, you're doing absolutely nothing. You're just wasting your own wasting your own time on Google Plus by doing that. So. You may see an ad, or not an ad, but maybe you'll see a post somewhere where somebody says, grow your following really, really fast, you know, add these people and they'll add you. Well, that's all fine and great and everything if those people are actually active Google Plusers, you know, if they're not why would you add them? There's really no point to do so. Um, so you want to just be really wary of the circles that you, that you actually follow and uh, don't just jump into a circle because it has a bunch of people. Make sure it's people you actually want to engage with because the biggest clue to having success on Google Plus or any platform for that matter is to be engaging with the people that you are following and who are following you. I mean, that's the best way that you're going to be able to grow your network and uh, become successful on a social network is through engagement. Okay, so that being said, let me just show you how to find these shared circles. So if we scroll up here to our Google, obviously you need to be logged into your Google Plus, okay? And, uh, and then you want to find the Google search bar up at the top of your profile. And if you're on your home page, if we click on home, the search bar is going to be at the top of your home page too. So no matter where you are, you'll be able to find this, uh, this uh, search bar. Okay. So what you're going to do first is there's a number of different hashtags that are used for circle sharing. Um, so we're just going to start by doing circle sharing or circle share. Circle share. Okay. 
And what the hashtag is, this um, the little pound sign in front of the word is a hashtag. And I'm actually going to do a video later on this week that talks more about hashtags. But it's just um, the basics of what it boils down to is it's a way to search for something and categorize something. Um, so what we're doing is we're searching, or we are searching for circ shared circles. And you can either search for, you know, circle share, shared circles, you know, uh, public circles, you know, things like that. And um, so we're going to start by doing that. So when we do a, a search for circle share, with the hashtag circle share, and we search, now what you're going to see is that um, you can scroll down here, and I don't know what the deal is with that picture, but we're going to ignore that. Sometimes, and I'm going to tell you something that happens on uh, with hashtags sometimes, <coughs> people will abuse them, and that's the random stuff that will show up. So we don't need to pay attention to that. That was just a quick lesson, by the way. Okay, so as you scroll down here, you'll see like this one here. And uh, this particular person says something about this circle, which there's only two people in here. And I'm not entirely sure what, what he's got going on there. I'm not going to read through that and learn about it. What we're going to do is um, we're actually going to search for some larger circles that actually are people that we would want to add to our own circles. And hopefully I'll be able to get through this video. My throat is starting to get a little scratchy today. Okay, so we've got a shared publicly this circle right here. Let's see what this is all about. In this circle, I have included personal injury attorneys wanting to expand their, expand their social presence on Google. So this is interesting right here. This first one that pops up basically is a very small niche that if you are, um, you know, if that's your niche, if law is your niche or personal injury or whatever, and you're trying to find other people in that same itch to follow or to um, interact with because, you know, that's your your skill or, or expertise. Or, um, you know, in one of our previous videos, we talked about, you know, searching for stuff that you have an interest in, that you have knowledge in, um, so that you can start growing your presence on Google+. Plus. Well, if you um, would be interested in interacting with these individuals, here's 250 people that you can quickly add and uh, start interacting with. So how, see how cool that is? That's just 250 people instantly for that particular niche. Now let's look at this one. Okay, now this one they've got um, new public circles, and this is from Share My Circle. Let's check these guys out and see what kind of circles they share. So if we go to that profile for Share My Circles, this one just says New Public Circle. This one says Circle of Wonders. Let's read a little bit more about it. Circle of Wonders, updated to February 23rd. Positive thinking, joy of life best pictures, text, and more. Actually, the world of Google Plus in a net nutshell. <laughs> so, that's interesting. Not quite narrow of a circle, narrow niche enough, in my opinion. It's just kind of random. Okay, so here's an interesting one. Follow Friday. This is a public circle of awesome plusers on Google Plus. If you would like to be circulated here, follow these steps. Okay, so this is talking about, you know, a way to get added to the circle. Circles discovery. This is a public circle of most active Google Plus friends that would like to be circulated to discover new friends and gain more followers. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so what I'm going to do actually... Okay, let's go back. We want to kind of get a little bit more narrow in our niche of people that we want to um, interact with. Okay, circle of plusers. This is a group of a group focusing on those people that have been plus. 
that have plus my post during the prior week. Circle resharers, these folks were engaging me, engaging with me the prior week. I in this group will give you a nice group of currently active G plusers. This is a group of people that like to engage on Google Plus. So this is a positive thing right here. You want people that are going to be engagers. And if you're brand new, maybe you haven't even decided what niche you're in, maybe this would be a good circle to add. Okay, and this is if you want to be included, that kind of gives you some instructions for, you know, if you want to be included in the next, in the, uh, in the next share. So, um, you know, if you're just starting out, maybe you, you might add that circle. I think I'm going to pass on it. I want to have a little bit more narrow of a niche. So let's try something a little bit different here. But it looks like there are quite a few people that are sharing circles of people that are interested in a number of different things. You know, they're pretty much general you know, general topic people. And, um, okay, so I'm just really kind of looking for a circle that I might actually share just because if I'm going to show you how to do this, I actually want to share. Okay, here's one. Maybe Internet Marketing Services. Really cool people. Maybe it's just that. Okay, so it's not actually a specific. Okay, let's do this. All right, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to narrow this um, circle search down a little bit. Okay, so let's just say, for instance, that you enjoy cooking. I like cooking, I like recipes, I like um, you know learning new stuff about cooking and that sort of stuff. And if somebody was posting about that, I'd probably be interested in it. So what I will do is I will look for the hashtag for cooking. Oops. So we'll go circle share and cooking. And we'll do a search for that and see what comes up. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so see right here? This is a circle of people, 166 people. Uh, recipes, cooking, shared circle, food circle, foodies, all of those kinds of things. So we'd be looking at a, a group of people that um, are all interested in these similar topics. So if I were going to... Um, Look, I'd be interested in, you know, uh, having conversations with people with these people because they're going to be talking about something I'm interested in. Okay, so let me just go back just so I can walk you through the steps. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the Add People button. And then what you can do is you can type in a name for this circle or you can add it to an existing circle that you already have. So if you already have a circle of people that um, that you have called, you know, cooking or recipes or foodies or whatever along that lines, you can just add them to a circle. So like if I clicked on add to circles, then it says, okay, provide a circle name. So I'd have to choose a circle name. So let's just see what comes up. Okay, so I have, you know, like I have uh, some that are content, SEO, blogging for beginners community. I have a whole bunch. Music, social media, internet marketing. I don't know that I have a cooking one. So, let's see. Food, food and drink. See? Right there. So, I could add them to my food and drink category and it's asking for additional characters so this is if I wanted to add a description okay 
okay and then when I click on add to food and drink circle it adds all of these people to that particular circle so now you can see right here let me oops I didn't mean to do that Now, right here, so you can see now I have this food and drink circle, and now it has 184 people in this circle, and I probably only had 30 or something like that before. So that I instantly, literally instantly added 184 people to the number of people that I'm following. And what you'll notice is that um, over the next few days, you'll see that people will just start adding you back. So it's a super fast way to add followers as well as follow people. And um, But what I will start doing is if I go to my home page, across the top here, you'll see these are all my different circles, or some of them, and then I have this more. And if I scroll down this list and look for, let's see, we want to look for the food and drink circle. So I just added this circle. And what I want to do is go ahead and turn on notifications for it so that I know when people from this circle post something. And I can start interacting with them. And as soon as you start interacting with people, and remember, like I, I showed you in one of the previous videos where I talked about um, how to get almost 100% of the people you follow to follow you back. Um, and I talked about how to do that. So watch that video and use that training to get all these people that are active in this circle to follow you back. So hopefully this was clear on how to add a bunch of people really really quickly and grow your followers very very fast and then I'll put a link either um, well when this video is on my blog then the link will be on my blog so you can get to that other training video where I talk about how to get almost 100% of the people to follow you back and um, if you're on my YouTube channel you'll just have to click the link somewhere in the description that will shoot you over to my blog or if you're on Vimeo wherever you happen to be um, you'll have to get over to my blog to get that other training. So with that, guys, hopefully this was very clear on uh, showing you how to add people very quickly, how to add circles, and, um, and find ones that are going to be appropriate for your niche. So if you do, like I said, hashtag circle share, half, hashtag shared circles, uh, you know, something along that lines, and then do another hashtag for whatever topic, so like we did cooking, you can do NASCAR, or you can do Paper Chef, or you can do, um, I don't know, anything, knitting, you know, what, whatever topic you can think of, do a search for, for shared circles or circle share, and then also add an additional keyword that will, uh, you know, kind of narrow down for your niche, and you'll be able to find, you know, any number of shared circles, um, that will be good for your niche and then the other thing is that if you are following some industry leaders what you'll notice is that over time you know every so often they will probably share a circle of people that um, that they engage with and who they think are really great people for you to follow and I recommend that if you're following that industry leader then definitely follow or circle that circle that circle the shared circle that they share with you. Woo! How say that five times fast, right? <laughs> um, and uh, and when you do that, then you'll start to have a lot more people that you can engage with who uh, are actually active on Google Plus. So guys, I know I went over a little bit on our time. I'm trying to stay under 15 minutes, but it seems I uh, I like to talk longer than that. So. <laughs> Okay, guys, have a great day. Oh, and by the way, if you're not in our Google Plus community, our Google Basics community, click the link. There'll be a link below this video so you can get in our community and get additional Google Plus tips and training. So with that, have a great day. Bye for now.